There was recently a very interesting idea proposed to the Terra Luna Classic ecosystem. Let's talk about what it is. Now, if you currently are staking your Terra Luna Classic, you will know that there is a on-delegation period of 21 days before you can actually access your funds. Now, this 21-day wait period means that you would have missed the explosive growth that we saw back in September. For example, right at the beginning of that movement, if you tried to unstake your tokens right here, you would not have them available till about here. So you would have missed this entire higher massive spike that we saw for Tuna Classic, where you could have made three, four X on your money easily, you wouldn't have been able to capitalize on that because your tokens would have been locked. Now, the idea that's circulating right now is to actually change this, have an instant unlock, but have a tax that is applied to that. So there's a penalty. If you want to immediately get your tokens, for example, to capitalize on this 200, 300% gain, you could do that, but you'd be essentially missing out on 10% of that gain. Now, this idea that was proposed a couple days ago is essentially adding a 10% tax that would go to the burn that would enable more tuna classic burn so when we look right now you can see our total tuna classic staked just shy of 1 trillion let's say that we round that up in the future we're going to be at 1 trillion let's say 10% of people want to capitalize on a massive spike in the price of tuna classic so we end up having 100 billion tuna classic that ends up getting cashed out immediately pays a 10% fee that means there's going to be 10 billion tuna classic that's going to go towards the burns and when we look at our total Tuna Classic burn, you can see that 10 billion more Tuna Classic being burned would make a dramatic difference on our close to 50 billion total Tuna Classic burn right now. A single spike up where we have that kind of movement would result in an extra 20% total Tuna Classic burned compared to what we've seen so far. And you'd also have it happen on a regular consistent basis, which is something that the author actually highlights. Now, if this proposal actually passed, let's say we had 1 billion Tuna Classic being undelegated every single day, through this new feature, so not an extreme amount, just a consistent 1 billion every single day, we'd end up burning an extra 100 million Tuna Classic every single day, or billions of Tuna Classic every single month. Now, I did provide some feedback on this proposal, and I think that maybe a little bit more of a balanced approach makes more sense personally. First of all, the validators would be hurt by this, and something to understand is that as a validator, you have people who are staked with you right now, like all these different validators, you can see all these staking events. Now, people generally, they don't want to move around or un stake their tuna classic because then they have to wait to regain rewards they have to wait to access their capital so generally when people go ahead and they actually stake their tuna classic they leave these amounts staked for quite some time and they don't go ahead and just start moving it around and so when you see a massive movement in the price like what we saw in september now maybe you'd see the price go up in this example close to 300 percent you might see a decent amount of people actually go ahead and cash out maybe it's 10 percent 20 percent but there's a lot of people who go, wait a second, I'm gonna have to wait 21 days. The pump's probably gonna be over by then. I'm not gonna earn rewards during that period of time. I'm not gonna be able to make it. It's not worth doing it. And so there is a fraction of people who would not cash out. But if you make it easy for people to cash out, let's say a 10% penalty, in this example, if I have 300% gains, I'm still gonna be making essentially 270% gains because now I'm getting rid of 10% of that supply or 10% of the tokens that I was unlocking. And so for a lot of people, it'd be a no-brainer. Take the big gains, take a little bit of hit on that gain, but actually be able to realize the gain. That way, when the price does come back down, if it comes back down, you can still buy back in, and then you'd be able to buy a lot more than what you had before. And so by doing this, validators would be hurt, which is why I think giving 1% to validators makes a lot of sense, because right now, with Tuna Classic, let's say you're earning roughly a 20% yield, and we can go find that out real quick, but if you're earning, let's say, a 20% yield on Tuna Classic, well, then you go ahead. Now, let's say that Tuna Classic staking yield was 20% instead of this number right here. If we had 20% and, let's say, a validator had 10% commission, they're going to effectively, on an annualized basis, get 2%. And so if you go ahead and instead you give a validator 1% of this amount, they're essentially getting six months worth of validator fees right up front for those people who are undelegating. And so this is worthwhile for validators to actually enable this because they're effectively going to get six months worth of fees right away. That way, if that person doesn't come back for a while, they're still getting those rewards. I also think we need to have 3% go to the community pool because we need to fund the L1 task force with Ed Kim and Zardar. We need to fund a team of lawyers to give us counsel. We also need to fund L2 dev teams in the future. And we are very short on our goals for how much money we need to accomplish for the 200 classic community. So we definitely need to send more money to the community pool when possible. 
overall, I think this is a very interesting idea because it gives people more options as to what they want to do. And if they do choose to take the option of not waiting the time, they can instead pay a percentage tax, which would help support the channel classic ecosystem, maybe through burns, maybe through the community pool, maybe money going to validators. That way they can help secure our network and keep channel classic growth going forward. And if you want to know how much channel classic could grow in the next year, check out this video up here and I'll catch you on the next one.